Good morning! Isn't this fantastic out here in the dog park on this cold, sleet, rain-filled day? Happy well, Easter to you. Oh, thank you and to you. So, this has been a long, strange trip. Can you it's been talk a, about it? It's been a saga. They didn't want us to build it. They put every roadblock they possibly could in our way. And we've overcome every one of them. And now we're out here in the rain because we're just determined to make sure this thing gets done. For those who don't know how this worked, um, we decided that we wanted to build a dog park and we wanted to build it tax-free because I don't think that people should have to pay for things that, you know, some other members of the community might use. So we, it took us about two years to get to the point where we could get it approved by the city and they let us have this piece of land to use. And we raised money and we paid for insurance and finally dug out, you know, the levelness of it all. And then it started raining about two weeks ago. <laughs> so needless to say, the gravel was delivered. If we get some of it moved today, it's that much less that we have to move another day. Um, next Saturday, we're, the plan was today was supposed to be the day we were actually putting up fence. <laughs> we don't even have the poles in. But, you know, maybe we'll get the poles up next week and get the gravel done. And hopefully we'll be up and fully running by... I don't know, 1st of June. Now, now this, <laughs> this is uh, sort of um, historical property. It, it is. Not? This piece of property used to be the blacksmith shop, um, which was here forever and ever and ever, and it burnt down, I don't know, maybe five years ago. So part of our plan for the dog park is when we have the fence up, the interior of the back facade is going to mimic the original blacksmith property. We'll see how that goes. We work on gravel first. <laughs> Yay. Fill in all the low spots? That Well, start. They say when you, you find yourself... Thing? They say when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing is to stop digging. Maybe the second thing is to start filling it back in again. <laughs> and what I think we should do is we should try to fill... Uh, like I, Other than filling in these low spots, I think we need to fill up the wheelbarrows and just start... Dumping them, but I could be wrong. Who the hell am I hearing? Oh, how much effort is this? He's part of the crew. Part of the ship, part of the crew. How long have you been the chairman? Since last fall. Last spring. Last spring. Going on two years, huh? Last spring, I said. <laughs> and were you the were you the first? No, actually, Phil Griazza was the original. Oh. Okay. And uh, Phil and I and Tammy decided that it would be best to just switch it over to me, and since he was an alderman, he didn't want to become a conflicting interest. So what are your plans for the organization? Well, this is our first park, Peanut Park, and we are hoping to, over the next few years, open up several more parks. And But this is a start. It'll be our uh, uh, inaugural park. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations for that. Are, they, are the ones that you're hoping, do you, do you have spots? Uh, are you eyeing spots already, and are they just sort of radiating out or are you going to be hitting far reaches of the city right off the bat? Well, we have another spot that we're waiting on. It, it, it's a couple years out because it's near the uh, the new Elliott Day Surgery Center where it used to be Jackpack. And uh, we're waiting on that. And we we haven't had any other spots picked out yet. They'll, hopefully once people see how the park is going and how much people enjoy it, someone may come forward and say, hey, I have some land you can use. And for, for, for people who, who want to get involved in this effort, how would they contact you? What can they, can, oh, they, can, they, could, do? they can contact us through manchesterdogpark.org. They can also make donations through PayPal. We are always looking for donations. And they can always call me at 603-232-9119 and offer their help. And when we need help, we will ask for help. Dump them. All right. Well, congratulations and good luck. Thank you so much. You know what I mean?
feature on that where you can speed it up. So what's the plan for future work sessions here? Uh, after we get down a base coat, I'll have somebody come out with a, uh, a backhoe or a loader, level it all out, come back with a roller, roll it all out, have somebody dig fence posts, put in fencing, and call it a dog park. And people can go to manchesterdogpark.org and keep up on the progress and learn more. We post all the time when we're going to be out here doing stuff. So if you check the website and it says we're going to be out here, look at it. It's raining and we're out here. Come and have fun. Come have fun. It's snowing. Build a dog park. Build a dog park. Build a dog park. Dog park. Manchester dog park. Dog park. Dog park. Dog park. Dog park. Dog park.